is uh, a new gun. We're gonna run through the 300 PRC. I have a uh, buddy's Ridgeline Christensen Arms. We're gonna be uh, testing this out. There's some different powders. It's got the 26 inch barrel. It does not have the titanium action. So it is a little smoother than that one, but it still is a little rough. And he has a Vortex Viper on there. I have a few of these on my guns and they shoot good and not wrong with them, a little heavy, but. And then I got some bullets loaded up with these three powders and then we'll do a factory velocity test and then find out what powders and what velocities this gun likes so we'll see and it weighs uh, 9.1 pounds as is it's not loaded but it has the bipod on there and as you see it so fairly light and 26 inch I was getting from the muzzle to there so if you actually go from the end of the barrel to where it chambers it's 24 inches so we'll see what velocities we get hopefully it's uh close to 3000 but the box says 2810 so hopefully we'll figure that one out and i did do some analysis i pulled a bullet apart and looked at the powder and i'm pretty sure it is reloader 26 and it came in at 75.7 grains and that would be the factory load of this 225 so if anybody's wanting to reload and having good luck with theirs then uh, give that a try and we'll see how it ends up with the loads I come up with so stay tuned so we got the Christian's arm uh, what is it? The uh, ridge line. <clears throat> it's pretty good finish. Seems nice. It's a little stiff on the bolt. It's not as smooth as lots of guns in the same price bracket. The bolt is rather stiff. Not sure if it's just really tight tolerances or what, but overall it looks good. Um, I'm not a big fan, mostly because their uh, um, maintenance side, and <clears throat> if you have an issue, they're not good at getting back to you or fulfilling what they think. <clears throat> they think their stuff's really good, and it is nice, but I don't think it's as nice as it could be. There's other guns and this price bracket or even less that are well uh well worth the money but not trying to be biased but <clears throat> uh we'll see how it feeds i know there's been some complaints from other people so we'll see There's one. Apparently you can't have three in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not ejecting because it's a loaded case, but let's try single feeding. That one came out. I'll put it back in the floor plate. That one came out. So I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see when there's some empty brass, but I have a lot of other guns that I would recommend. Um, but we'll shoot this one, see how it goes. 
It is a 26 inch barrel, so the velocity should be pretty good. But we will uh, shoot it and see how it goes. Well, <clears throat> I was surprised with the Christian scene. I know they do shoot well most of the time. And this one shot good. I can't complain. Uh, the action is a little stiff, but that's about it. It was consistent. Um, shot decent groups. Not amazing, but I think mostly that's because it's a thinner PRC. So there's a lot of recoil, a lot of jump. But the factory ammunition did pretty good. It was about right on an inch. And with the 26 inch barrel, I got 2870 as an average with an SD of nine. And the factory said 2810. Oh, it's backwards because I got the camera fit. But it uh, shot the factory stuff really good. So. Can't complain there. Um, shot the N570. Probably the best group. Um, about right on an inch. I I still think the reloading it with uh, Reloader 22. I upped the powder just a little bit to see if I get more velocity, but it was really close to what the factory was and I think some of the wider group was uh, the heating up of the barrel I had let it cool down but I don't have a lot of time so I didn't let it cool down but probably five or six minutes if it went a full 10 minutes it would probably have been back to temperature it should have been but it's a carbon barrel. They don't like more than four or five shots at a time anyway. So I cooled it down to what I thought was a reasonable temp. Uh, if it was sitting in the sun, basically, if you grabbed the gun, that's what it felt like. So, but hopefully this helps. Um, so the factory matches, shoots pretty good. And if I was loading by hand, I'd probably go with the N570 that had the best group. The velocity is real similar to the factory. So um, I'm sure there's other powders to get it more velocity, but uh, I don't know. Not a lot of data out there on uh, different powders. I could try Reloader 22, but <clears throat> it didn't have anything. So <clears throat> I didn't want to just guess and throw something in there and then have too much pressure but I'd probably start at 75 grains and go from there anyway hopefully this was helpful thanks for watching